guys on today's video we're going to talk a little bit here about the killer instinct for lethal 405 they also have the killer instinct boss 405 but i i went ahead i purchased the lethal 405 it's 199 dollars uh, at cabela's right now bass pro shop it's 199 dollars i think at dick sporting goods it's 205 but i don't know it's whatever's in your area we re they recently just put in a Cabela's real close to where I'm at, so I went in. I bought it from Cabela's, but guys, I want to go ahead and say uh, if you're not a member of Rakuten, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. They'll um, they'll send you ten dollars in cash back just for spending twenty five dollars plus whatever you get percentage wise. And there's thousands of stores that use it. Um, Bass Pro Shop, Cabela's, Dick Sporting Goods, they all give cash back. Um, you'll get special coupon offers. Sometimes they offer free shipping through Rakuten. So, um, yeah, guys, go ahead and link. Go ahead and click that link and go ahead and sign up and get yourself some cash back. And they'll send you a check in the mail every three months. Um, you basically you get money back just for buying stuff you'd already buy. So, it's a really great thing. I always like to save money wherever I can. All right, guys. So, you can see here, it is a fixed stock. Full disclaimer, this is not the scope that came on the crossbow. Um, I'll go through why that is in a second. But, as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty well-built crossbow. Like I said, it did cost $200. And it is a killer instinct. But as you can see here, guys, I got the rope cocker on it right now. Um, stuck up in here. It comes back, unlike most where it will hook up here, it's got a notch that hooks down here. It sets in that notch. Um, it does make it a whole lot easier to pull back. I've not tried to pull it back without it. I got no reason to. Um, but as you can see, it does have string silencers limb silencers everything like that it does have a really nice front grip right here on the and it's got really great thing for young shooters yeah you can't put your your you can't grab a hold of this and put your string your hand up above the string so it keeps your hands down low one thing it does have a picatory rail system here so anything that will mount on an ar it will work on there and same goes with the hand right here this is interchangeable with any ar style but i really i like this one i like the feel of it it's got a real nice feel to it uh, and you do have your quiver it does run with the limbs across it uh some of the other ones i was looking at the killer instinct the boss 405 it does it comes back the other direction one thing I didn't like about it is that if it's on there, when I put my hand in here like this, the arrows or bolts were poking me in the knuckles, which I didn't really like that at all. Uh, all right. If I'm in the tree stand or on a, in a ground blind, I will take this off and set it to the side. But as far as if I'm walking real slow and one steps out, I want to be able to have that hooked on and still be able to shoot but like I said it was digging into my knuckles so this is the scope that came on it it's nothing fancy it doesn't have any kind of name brand it doesn't say anything on it it is an illuminated scope which I really do like the illuminated scopes but when I was in the store it I was looking at a pheasant that they had mounted it was hanging up on the wall at Cabela's it it was so blurry that I couldn't see to tell what type of animal I was looking at. And the guy at Cabela's, he said that out of the 40 that they've sold, only five of the scopes have been clear. And it doesn't, it's got a little bit of adjustment, but not a lot. It's a low end scope, but for a $200 crossbow, me personally, I'd rather have a higher end crossbow that I could stick a different scope on than a low-end crossbow and a decent scope. 
Um, but like I said, it's this crossbow cost $199 when I bought it. I've seen the prices are going up a little bit, probably because of how many they're selling. But the thing about this scope is I I was coming out and it was in a bag and I dropped it on the counter. And when I dropped it on the counter, it cleared itself up. So I don't know if there's a lens in there. It might have been out of whack, but see if I can't get you a look through this thing. But I mean, right now, I mean, that's relatively clear. It's hard for me to hold it, but it's relatively clear right there. It's hard for me to get the camera to look through it, but it is. It's relatively clear now. But like I said, guys, it did it. I did. I accidentally dropped it on the counter, and it cleared itself up. Uh, really nice. So I'm going to stick that on another crossbow. We're going to try to sight that thing in, and we'll see how it does. And if it if it works good, I might put it back on this one. Um, this scope here, it's a Barnett 4x32. The guy at Cabela's told me that uh, he went and sold another crossbow that was, I think he said it was around $500, and it had this scope on it, and they wanted an illuminated scope on it. So he, so they bought the scope, and he put it on for them, and they just left that one at the store, so he just threw that one in for free. So I got lucky there, because, I mean, even if this scope is still good, I got another scope for free. And I looked that scope up online. It cost ninety nine dollars. So I'm all about that. And he did. He gave it. He put it on. Give it to me for free. I was going to do a whole unboxing thing of it, but I, he went ahead and put it together for me. And I mean, it, this scope it comes with the set of scope caps and stuff like that. I mean, it's not a horrible scope. I'm pretty. I'm not real sure about it. Like I said, I'm going to try it out. We're going to see how it goes. I might end up putting it on my wife's crossbow. Or I, like I said, I might put it back on this one. I don't know. We'll see on a future video if I do decide to put that scope back on this crossbow or another crossbow. I will uh, make a video about that and throw it up. I'm going to wrap it up for this video. Um, this is just a quick look. Nothing fancy. Uh, like I said, the, the scope is not exactly what I was looking for. So I went in and he gave me that scope the Barnett scope so I want to put it he put it on uh, so far I'm really pleased with it and I am going to try out the this other little scope I got that come on the scope or on the crossbow um, I'm gonna try it out and if it turns out to be a really good scope I'll uh, throw a, another video up about that but as of right now I'm really pleased with this Barnett scope and this crossbow overall but that's gonna be about it for this video guys i'm gonna put a link to another video of me shooting this thing uh, i'll probably put that video up either later on today or tomorrow so like i said i'll put a link to it at the end of the video you go ahead and watch it you can see me shoot this thing and i'll show you how rope cocker works